50 years ago, farmers didn't have much of a choice but to apply their inputs in a uniform way across each field. The same amount of pesticides, the same amount of fertilizer, and so on. They were limited by the equipment of their time. Today's farmers, however, have an advantage. They have access to technology and equipment that can vary the amount of inputs applied to their land. The ability to vary inputs is essential for efficient crop production because different parts of a field have different needs. This is one of the primary goals of precision farming, matching the application of inputs to the soil. Precision farming technology can work both to the farmer's and the environment's benefit, but only if the farmer has a solid understanding of his or her field and can transfer that knowledge to their machinery. One way this is achieved is by identifying areas called management zones. A management zone can break that field into smaller portions to then help the farmer manage those um, similar soils and similar areas of the field in a, a way that really optimizes the productivity of that crop. Unfortunately, creating these management zones is more complex than it sounds. There are a multitude of factors that play into the composition of a soil. Farmers need two things. One, they need tools to quickly measure variations in soil properties. And two, they need methods to help them pinpoint exactly which areas of the field are most alike. In the early 2000s, the research team within the Cropping Systems and Water Quality Research Group worked together to create a software package that helps us to create management zones. That software is called Management Zone Analyst. Management Zone Analyst, or MZA, allows farmers to input recent soil and crop information. Then the software mathematically identifies like areas for zone creation. The idea is that we can take a field and give it whatever inputs we need, whether it be to topography, slope, curvature, um, whether it be soil measurements, soil conductivity, texture, whatever we want to put into it, it will take the field and divide it into homogeneous regions. The software also helps farmers and crop consultants determine the optimal number of management zones for a given field. MZA was made free to the public so all producers have the opportunity to benefit from it. Researchers, farmers, commodity organization representatives, and agricultural consultants from more than 39 states and 35 countries have used MZA in managing their crops. I think MZA has had a pretty strong impact, not only with farmers, but also with educating the next, uh, the next generation. There's a lot of use of MZA, not only by farmers and consultants, but by agriculture programs around the country and even around the world. Along with MZA, the research group's pioneering work on management zones has been integrated into many facets of the crop industry over the years, leading to more efficient farming worldwide.